do it for likes. I mean, I do it for likes, but I don't do it for likes. You know what I mean? Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing YouTube FAQs, just questions from you guys that I get in a number of my social media inboxes or all throughout my comments um, on YouTube. So let's just get right into this video. Okay, first thing first is my music. The majority of my music comes from my brother and I normally have his information down below. He makes um, beats and songs and stuff and I just call and bug him until he sends me some and then I use it for you guys because I think that he's amazing. So, there you go Kenneth. The other place I get my music is from the YouTube catalog. I'll try to put a link somewhere up in here for you guys and I'll also list it down below in the description bar. Those are the only two places I get my music from. Video equipment. So right now at this very moment, I am recording off of my Sony A5000. I absolutely love this camera. I was dying for it and my husband got it for me for my birthday last year. And I love this camera. It's great for vlogging and then of course I feel like it's great for this. The other camera that I use is my iPhone. So here I am recording from my phone. I also use this. I definitely um, use it to vlog. I also used it when I was, I don't want to say first starting out because sometimes I still use my um, phone. But I use my phone, I use my camera, and I will also use my husband's phone if my phone's not charged or if his is just closer or, um, or just whatever the case is. If you enjoy recording video, just use whatever you have. And if you don't know whether you enjoy it yet because you haven't started, use whatever you have that's already free to you. That is my, that would be my biggest piece of advice for you guys. So it's either my Sony Alpha 5000, A5000, um, my iPhone 6S, or my husband's Galaxy, I think it's like a 6, S6, 6, I don't know, whatever his phone is. I don't use extra lighting right now, we're using the light from the good Lord. Um, uh, otherwise I'll use whatever lights I have in my house. Just, I mean, I literally mean like just flipping the light switch on. Nothing else. I don't have anything else. I would love to have a ring light, but my coin says no. So, I'm okay with that. Oh, I've also been asked what kind of sound equipment I use. None. Whatever microphone is on my phone, whatever microphone is already built into my camera, that is all that I use. I don't have an extra mic for sound. Someone asked me that. Another question that I get a lot is, Will you subscribe to my channel or will you watch my video? Short version answer to this is yes. I will 100% go to your channel, watch your video, more than likely leave a comment, definitely leave a thumbs up. I'm there all day long. Um, I will say in the very beginning, I was subscribing to anyone's channel that asked, um, but I realize now that's not exactly very helpful. And I say that because having a channel, you definitely want active subscribers. It doesn't really do anything for you when you make a video and you have like two views and one like. That, that doesn't help you because then of course you, you have 20 subscribers, but it's not an active subscriber. Now I do have multiple people that I have subscribed to via them coming to my channel and asking me to that um, I still watch and I still talk to them and I have connected with them on other social media and they are like friends of mine and um, yeah. Another big question that I get is how do you do it? Like how do you start a YouTube channel? You just do. You just decide to record something, anything, and you post it. There is no right or wrong way to YouTube at all. I think a lot of people look at the bigger channels and just automatically assume that, hey, if I don't have 100,000 subscribers overnight, then I'm not doing it right. And that's not true. It just doesn't happen that way unless you already have a huge social media following. Then of course it's easier for you. I don't have a huge social media following on any of my social media. And I think that's what makes me like cling to my YouTube subbies so much because I feel like I really earned every single one of you guys. And it makes me proud to record a video and put it out for y'all because like I said, I met all of you just through here or 
some of you guys have connected with me just through YouTube, not from what you saw on my Facebook or cute pictures that I post on the gram. Like, it's not like that because I don't really promote my social media anywhere at all. Let's just keep on going. <laughs> Again, the biggest takeaway from this is there's no right or wrong way to do YouTube. You just do it. Record a video about whatever it is that you want, whether it's hair, um, clothes, shoes, real talk, fake talk, reactions, whatever it is. There's, there's no one and nothing stopping you. Just give it a try. You never know if you're going to like it or um, you may post a video and decide this is for the birds. But at least give it a try if you have that idea in your mind that you want to do it. I, stay, I said it before in my um, starting a YouTube channel video and I will say it again. I will stand by this. It is okay to do it for the money. If you're looking at everyone else and you decide, hey, they make a lot of money off YouTube, I want to try and see if I can make a lot of money off YouTube. Do it for that reason too. I, I don't feel like there's a problem with that. What I will forewarn you is the money is not instant. 500 subbies ain't getting me no check. I still do it because I enjoy reading you guys' comments and I enjoy recording videos now. I just, I, I do. So unless you are probably already making money off of social media because you have a big following, you're not going to come to YouTube and um, make money day one. It doesn't mean that you're not going to blow up overnight because I feel like that has happened for a lot of people. But don't expect the money instantly. That doesn't mean that money can't be your drive. I'm going to back that until the day sweet baby Jesus calls me home. For those of you who have been in my comments talking trash. <laughs> the reason I'm going to back that is because I feel like once you record your first video and you put in the time and effort of editing that first video and then posting that first video, you already know from that moment on, okay, this is not light work. Um, you can still be money driven and decide, okay, I know that there's money in this, so I'm going to stick with it and give it a try, which is why I say do it for the money, because by that time you already know this is work. So again, it is okay to be money driven or monetarily driven into YouTube, but your passion is either going to kick in or it's not. So that's what's going to keep you on YouTube. As far as my editing software, I use iMovie right off of my phone. Um, it come, If you have an iPhone, it comes on your phone. Mm -hmm. Right there. So I use iMovie to edit my videos. Here you go. Now you know I'm not lying. There we go. So that's how I um edit my videos i will record them here and then you have the wi-fi option on this particular camera i blue i wi-fi those um video clips to my phone and then from there i'll use iMovie to edit them all together and make a video for you guys or to put up a video for you guys if i just record it from my phone already that's one less step i have to take because um of course i don't have the bluetooth I don't have to Wi-Fi the clips anywhere. I already have them in my phone. But iMovie is the only editing software that I use. I just feel like it's easier to go ahead and get everything done on my phone and then just post it online for you guys. So, And you can send it straight to YouTube from iMovie. So that's really convenient as well. What you would use on a Windows computer, I have no idea at all. But um, I'm sure there is some sort of editing tool. And you guys hop down up in the comments and help each other out. My current comfort level with YouTube on a scale of 1 to 10 would probably be a 4. I still feel like um, a fish out of water. Like I said, I stick with it the best that I can. Um, just based off of the fact that I really enjoy connecting with my subscribers. And I really like reading you guys' comments later. And it's really exciting to post a video and then see how many thumbs up you got. Or if you had any new subscribers since you last posted. That really, really, really like... Uh, 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 I don't know. It's so exhilarating for me. So that is um, why I continue to do this. So I, I really enjoy YouTube for that reason. But um, am I comfortable sitting in front of the camera? Not 100%, but 
when I know that eventually I'm going to get the people watch from my channel. That's fun. My subscriber count right this very second is 540. I will share with you guys that I had set a goal at the beginning of this year at New Year's to hit 600 subscribers by the end of the year. So I can't believe I'm so close. I'm just so excited <laughs> right now. How much money I've made from YouTube thus far? I've made a big whopping nothing. Not a dime. And like I said, because I know that I go to work every day, busting my buns eight to five, um, that's okay. Like I said, I, I don't do YouTube for the money personally. I know that um, with discipline and consistency that you could make money from it. I don't even, like I said, at this point, I still don't even know what my channel is about. I just do it for fun, but I haven't made a dime off of YouTube, but hey, I know it's coming. Let's say that. How I decide what I'm going to record or how I decide my content, I literally, and I'm y'all can probably see me looking down every once in a while, but I have a notebook and as it comes to me, I just write it in my notebook like, hey, that could be fun or, oh, I did go through that. I wonder if that could help somebody. That's really how I record my videos. I just base it off of my life. That's, I feel like that's all that I can do. I can't tell you about something that I haven't been through or I can't tell you how to do something I've never done or that I don't do on the daily. So um, I just use my notebook to jot down I don't just ideas that pop into my head. Where they come from, I, I don't know. I don't follow the trend just because I know that like it's popular at the time. If there's like, for instance, there's a challenge video and I feel like, oh, that challenge would be like legit fun, I do it. But if it's like, pranking my husband and telling him I'm cheating on him, that's not gonna happen ever because that's not my life and I could very well die trying some BS like that. Okay, right, just um, before we wrap this up. Okay, so my camera like slicked that out on me. What was I saying? Okay, yeah. I don't um, post any videos that I wouldn't want to watch myself. And so when I'm playing my own videos back after I'm done editing, if I feel like this is just boring and I just, I don't even want to watch me, I will not post it. You guys never see it. And that's just that. That's just a level, the level, the standard level that I have set for myself and my channel. You can do whatever you want. As far as advice goes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't <laughs> know anything. I'm, I'm not a pro. I don't know what's going on. I just post videos because I like it. I, I, if I record a video and I fully enjoy it, I post it. That's it. There's nothing else to it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing it. I just think it's fun. I'm just having a little fun. Like, that's it. So, uh, and that's the truth. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I wouldn't hear y'all. So, Take what I say with a grain of salt and use whatever piece of it applies to you and run with it, girl. That's, that's really all I have. Just do whatever you want to do. Do it however you want to do it. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. The hardest thing about YouTube is consistency. It's the most important and the hardest. Be consistent, as consistent as you can. As you can see, I don't post the same day every week. I don't even post weekly, although I am working hard to try to change that piece. Um, it's not easy when, like I said, when this isn't like your all in all, when you do have a family to support or yourself to support and you do really have to get on up out of that bed and go to work every day. It's really hard to be consistent, but on a platform like this, I do think that is the key to YouTube is being consistent. But with that said, that is the end of this video. That's all that I have for you guys. I hope that you enjoy it. Again, just take whatever applies to you, whatever you need from this and run with it. If there is enough space on YouTube for all of us, so I wish all of you luck and I wish all of you love and light and good luck. Thanks for watching.